Welcome back to my channel, I'm Auntie Tay. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video or if it was helpful to you, give it a big thumbs up. I am here every Monday teaching you guys stuff about the cricket, and I'm always around on this channel doing other random things all throughout the week. So check it out if you enjoy it. Make sure that you come back and check us out. Today I'm doing a design with me tutorial, which is going to be Cricut Design Space, and we're making a bullet journal stencil. So I know that this will go along with our planning series Series as well so if you have not checked that out make sure you do and if you want to become a patron I have lots of fun perks for you as well as well as you've probably seen this video about a couple months ago because I allow all of my patrons to see a bunch of my videos way before everyone else all right so with all that hoopla let's get going and I hope you enjoy this tutorial Welcome back to Design Space 3. Today I'm going to show you a really simple way to make a planner um, stencil Okay, so this is great for bullet journaling. This is great for lots of stuff. So what we want to do is we want to start with the size of our uh, stencil that we want to make. So let's say we want it to fit inside of our planner perfectly. So it's going to be 5 by 7. Or actually it would be 5.5 5 by 8 and a half depending on what size. So that's an A5 size. Let's just let's just go with A5 to start. Okay, so this is going to be the outside of our stencils. Now, we can start with just basic shapes from Design Space if we want to do that because those shapes are really fun. Um, we can do a circle and then we can do like some we can do copy and paste and we can do a smaller circle and then copy and paste a, a little bit smaller circle so you have a few different circle sizes and then let's make a I'm gonna copy and paste a little circle and I'm gonna make one of those little like bullet points so copy paste and then I'm gonna move this over here copy paste move this over here copy paste move this over here copy paste so let's just do five and I'm gonna hold shift and select them all and I'm going to align uh, let's do align horizontally either way they're gonna be aligned and then we can move them um, let me see if I can evenly distribute distribute horizontally and then that will make sure that they're evenly spaced so now I'm gonna undo that because I accidentally moved one I'm gonna shift click all of them I'm going to attach those together so that when I do move them, they move as one piece. And then we can add a square. You can do the same thing here with the squares. You can make bullet square marks or whatever you want to do. We can do a couple different um, square sizes. You can make a rectangle if you want by unlocking this. Make a little rectangle and put them here. Uh, if you hold shift, I believe it'll stay, um, it'll go, yeah, if you hold shift, it'll stay locked into like the position. It'll go like a perfect 90 degrees. So let's try that because it was kind of crooked. Drive them in nuts. So if I make a rectangle and I hold shift and I rotate, it's going to like lock it in these places. So if I want it perfectly up and down. I would get it there and unclick it and then I don't have to hold shift anymore and then if I want it see how it can skew all over the place if I want it to stay the proportions I would hold shift and that will keep the proportions correct and I actually want this to be as long as that okay so those are the basic shapes and then Cricut Access actually has some fun stuff so let's go to images and let's just look up a banner and there's tons of cute little things that we can start with. So like a bunting banner or just like you could do little triangles. You could make a little triangle banner. So like this one's really fun. You could insert that in. And what we want to do with this is uh, delete the pink part. We just want one shape. So we could put the little banner in here. Um, if you wanted to make this extra long, you could copy paste 
turn this so that it's angled with this one and then shift hold both of them and weld them and that will create one long banner which I actually like because then I can do more with it something that would be fun is you can actually you know nest that circle in there so um, I will make this available to you guys. I also have a bunch that I've designed for my patrons. So there will be a lots of these. Um, and let's see. So let's go. We could do banner. We could do, I don't know how to search just shapes. Let's see what happens if we just do shapes. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of fun little things. So let's just do like, I like different hearts. I know their little heart shape is fun, but I like different shaped hearts too. So like this one's really cute. You could do a whole template of just hearts if you wanted. Okay, so let's make a heart like this. You could make a little heart, um, one of these. So let's let's do that. Command C, Command V, reshape it. And then I'm going to Command C, Command V. Once you have a Command C or Control, depending on if you're on a Mac or not, you can just hit Command V over and over because you already have it copied on the desktop. So this will be like a little bullet spot. So I'm going to hold shift and click all of them, align them and space them. So I'm going to align them uh, left or vertically, it doesn't really matter. And then distribute evenly. We'll just make sure they're perfect and then we're going to attach those. So now we have a lot more space on here. We can put some more shapes. Let's just keep searching shapes and spaces and all that fun stuff. Okay, so we have plenty of hearts. Let's look up some cute stars. So I'm just going with some of the basic shapes to start with so that we can just get the idea, but you could really go all over the place. You could even, if you're subscribed to any of the Mickey stuff, you can make Mickey templates, which I am. So let's see if we have a Mickey cartridge that I'm per I've purchased that I love. So I've uploaded this one. Um, we could do a Mickey head, which of course, why wouldn't I want a Mickey head on mine? Um, and now I'm not available to share this with you guys, so I will have to del I will have to delete that before I share it with you guys. But you could just find a Mickey head on Google and do that. So Command V, I'm gonna make a little bullets with the Mickey head, cause why not? Why not? Right? Okay, so let's select all these, align left, distribute horizontally. Um, the reason why when I distribute horizontally you don't see anything happen is it naturally wants to distribute it evenly so they were already distributed pretty evenly and they're not attached. So let's shift click them, attach them and just put them wherever. And um, there's a lot of space on here. So we have lots more room to put other shapes. Let's just add some fun shapes just for the heck of it so we can fill up some space. And I can show you guys the rest of this tutorial. Do a diamond. And then let's just do triangle. Triangles are fun because you can do bunting banners with them. So we'll just do a little banner triangle here. Okay, so then we're gonna zoom out and I'm just gonna select it all by dragging over all of it or you can click clicked, select all. Where is it? Okay, so I can do select all, which will select it all. And I'm just gonna attach it. It's gonna change all the colors of everything. I wanted the hearts too. Why did the hearts not turn to gray? Attach. I don't know why the hearts didn't turn. They're set to print and cut, that's why. Okay, so let's set these all to cut. So sometimes you'll notice things like that and you're like, why is that not happening? I like to go over to these layers and just see what's going on. Sometimes that can really clear something up. So now I'm gonna set it to cut and now they're all one color. So all I would do is click make it, load in my acetate or my paper and I could make this fun little stencil. So if you guys wanna see how I turn these into planner stickers, check out my how to make planner stickers video that's coming up soon after this. And I love you guys. So don't forget to click subscribe and I'll show you guys lots of pictures in the planner club of what I did with this. Bye.